Yahusha Joshua 5. And it came to pass, when all the kings of the Amorim, which were on the side of the Yardan westward, and all the kings of the Canaanim, which were by the sea, heard eth that Yahuwah had dried up eth the waters of the Yardan from before the children of Yashara'el, until we were passed over, that their heart melted. Neither was there Ruach in them any more, because of the children of Yashara'el. At that time, Yahuwah said unto El Yahusha, Make you sharp knives, and circumcise again the children of Yashara'el the second time. And Yahusha made him sharp knives, and circumcised at the children of Yashara'el at the hill of the foreskins. And this is the cause why Yahusha did circumcise. All the people that came out of Mitzrayim, that were males, even all the men of war, died in the wilderness by the way, after they came out of Mitzrayim. Now, all the people that came out were circumcised, but all the people that were born in the wilderness by the way, as they came forth out of Mitzrayim, them they had not circumcised. For the children of Yashara'el walked forty years in the wilderness, till all the people that were men of war, which came out of Mitzrayim, were consumed, because they obeyed not the voice of Yahuwah, unto whom Yahuwah swore that he would not show them at the land, which Yahuwah swore unto their fathers that he would give us a land that flows with milk and honey. And at their children, whom he raised up in their stead, them Yahusha circumcised, for they were uncircumcised, because they had not circumcised them by the way. And it came to pass, when they had done circumcising all the people, that they abode in their places in the camp, till they were whole. And Yahuwah said unto El Yahusha, This day have I rolled away at the reproach of Mitzrayim from off you. Wherefore, the name of the place is called Gilgal unto this day. And the children of Yashara'el encamped in Gilgal and kept at the Pichachs, rather Pichach, on the fourteenth day of the month at evening in the plains of Yericho. And they did eat of the old grain of the land on the morrow after the Pichach matzah cakes and parched grain in the selfsame day. And the manna ceased on the morrow after they had eaten of the old grain of the land. Neither had the children of Yashara'el manna any more, but they did eat of the fruit of the land of Canaan that year. And it came to pass, when Yahusha was by Yericho, that he lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, there stood a man over against him with his sword drawn in his hand. And Yahusha went unto him and said unto him, Are you for us or for our adversaries? And he said, Nay, but as captain of the host, 
of Yahuwah am I now come. And Yahusha fell on his face to the earth and did worship and said unto him, What says my Lord unto his servant? And the captain of Yahuwah's host said unto El Yahusha, Loose your shoe from off your foot, for the place whereon you stand is holy. And Yahusha did so.